The North Luzon Expressway NLE or NLEX, formerly known as the North Diversion Road and Manila North Expressway MNEX, is a 4-8 to eight lane limited access toll expressway that connects Metro Manila to the provinces of the Central Luzon region in the Philippines. It is a component of Expressway 1 E1 of the Philippine Expressway Network, Circumferential Road 5 C5, and Radial Road 8 R8 of Manila's Arterial Road Network. It was built in the 1960s. The expressway begins in Quezon City at the Balintawak Interchange with EDSA as a continuation of Andres Bonifacio Avenue. It then passes through Caloocan and Valenzuela in Metro Manila, and the provinces of Bulacan and Pampanga in central Luzon. It currently ends at Mabalacat and merges with the MacArthur Highway, which continues northward into the rest of central and northern Luzon. The segment between Santa Rita Exit in Giginto and the Balintawak Interchange in Quezon City is a part of the new alignment of the N1 AH26. The expressway, including Andres Bonifacio Avenue, has total length of 88 kilometers. The expressway segment has a length of 84 kilometers. Originally controlled by the Philippine National Construction Corporation PNCC, operation and maintenance of the NLEX was transferred in 2005 to NLEX Corporation, a subsidiary of Metro Pacific Investments Corporation, a former subsidiary of the Lopez Group of Companies until 2008. A major upgrade and rehabilitation was completed in February 2005 with road now having similar qualities to a modern French tollway. History the original stretch of the expressway, from Balintawak Interchange up to Giginto Exit in Bulacan, was completed on August 4, 1968. It is a fully fenced limited access highway that consisted of a four-lane rural divided roadway, nine twin bridges, one railroad overpass, seven underpasses and three interchanges. Originally a project of the Department of Public Works and Highways, the completion of the major portion of the job fell on CDCP to pioneer the toll concept of funding infrastructure. It was carried out under the private financing scheme provided by Republic Act 3741. Additional work required by the government included the construction of the Balintawak noviliches Interchange Complex, the Tabang Interchange, and the approach road of the underpasses. In 1976, the NLT extension, consisting of 50.9 kilometers .6 miles of concrete road, was built as part of a highways program of the International Bank for Reconstruction Development linking major urban centers to the production centers in the north. The project features a four-lane limited access highway with a 5-kilometer Candaba viaduct, a construction innovation utilizing precast beam system, six interchanges, 12 bridges, and overpass underpass structures. In 1989, under the Corazon Aquino administration, the expressway was extended by another 5 kilometers from its terminus at Doe Exit up to Sta. Ines Exit in Mabalacat, Pampanga. Starting in 2003 and until February 2005, the expressway underwent a major rehabilitation. Rehabilitation works include the widening of the Balintawak Tabang segment from 6 to 8 lanes and the Tabang STA. Rita segment from 4 to 6 lanes, asphalt overlay, and the demolition of old toll booths. The main contractor of the rehabilitation work was Leyden Contractors Thai. Limited, Australia, with Aegis Projects, a company belonging to the French group Aegis as the main subcontractor for the toll, telecommunication and traffic management systems. To help maintain the safety and quality of the expressway, various rules are in effect, such as restricting the left lane to passing vehicles only and banning overloaded trucks. After the rehabilitation, the operations and maintenance of the expressway was transferred from the state-owned Philippine National Construction Corporation PNCC, to the Manila North Tollways Corporation, now NLEX Corporation. In June 5, 2010, the NLEX Segment 8.1 or the NLEX Mindanao Avenue Link, a four-lane, 2.34 kilometers, 1.45 miles, spur road that runs from Mindanao Avenue to the Smart Connect Interchange in Valenzuela City was opened. The spur road is a part of the C5 Road North Extension and is supposed to provide another entry point to the expressway from Metro Manila and decongest the Balintawak Interchange. 
In March 18, 2015, NLEX Segment 9 or the NLEX Karuhatan Link was opened, a 4.06 km long continuation of Segment 8.1 that runs from the Smart Connect Interchange to MacArthur Highway. Route Description North Luzon Tollway, NLEX Main the North Luzon Tollway NLT, or NLEX Main cuts northwards from Manila to the provinces of Bulacan and Pampanga. The expressway parallels MacArthur Highway from Quezon City to Mabalacat in Pampanga. It has eight lanes from Balintawak Interchange to Balagtas Interchange, six lanes from Balagtas Interchange to San Fernando Exit, and four lanes from San Fernando to Sta. Ines Exit. The expressways has bridges that cross seven rivers. Some portions of the expressway are lined with billboards, including its viaduct portion. Various high-voltage overhead power lines, most notably the Hermosa Duhat Balintawak transmission line, operated and maintained by National Grid Corporation of the Philippines NGCP, utilize the significant portion of the expressway route as the densely populated areas hinder acquisition of dedicated right-of-way. Balintawak Balagtas the expressway starts at Balintawak Interchange as a physical continuation of Bonifacio Avenue. A few meters after the cloverleaf is the Quirino Highway, with a northbound exit ascends into the flyover. The Reparo Road will parallel the expressway from Novalich's exit to Eternal Gardens Memorial Park. A Libus Besa exit can be seen near the Memorial Park, but it only serves a southbound lane. The road approaches to Balintawak Toll Plaza, widening to 17 lanes and only serving northbound. The offices of NLEX Corporation is located near the toll plaza. A new toll gate was built between a northbound and southbound lane servicing Class 1 vehicles and opened in 2017. The number of lanes will return to four, continues straightward, passes to Tullahan River through the Tullahan Bridge, intersects with General T. de Leon Street, and passes the Smart Connect Interchange. It then passes through industrial areas and businesses within Valenzuela. An east service road starts paralleling the expressway before Paso de Blas exit. On Valenzuela exit, a pure gold supermarket and Melinta market can be seen between it. The road continues on a straight route, with a Cultex service area located near the Dulalia overpass, until it enters Bulacan. It crosses to Maycayan River and after a few meters is the Maycayan exit to serve its town proper. Another service road named St. Francis Service Road that is located beside the expressway's southbound lane. It passes through residential areas and institutions within the municipality, intersects with Leas Road, and continues straight forward. On Marilao, there is a patron service area and after it are the Marilao River and its exit. It enters Bacaui after Marilao exit, where Ciudad de Victoria and the Philippine Arena lies to the east. The road turns eastward to serve Bacaui Toll Plaza, with a southbound lane being widened to 22 lanes with four from a service road making a grand total of 26 lanes, and on the middle of it is a newly built toll plaza and road. It turns westward, passes through Bacaui Exit, Santa Maria River, and Tall Bridge, and continues on a straight direction until Balagtas Interchange. Before it are the Patron for southbound and Shell for northbound lanes. Past Shell service area is the Tabang Spur Road and Balagtas Interchange which was opened on March 20, 2012. This is the former terminus of the original segment of an expressway from 1967 to 1976 before it is extended to Doe. Balagtas San Fernando The expressway reduces the number of lanes into three starting on Tabang Spur Road. It continues on a straight route, passes through Giginto River, Shell of Asia Service Area, Metro Warehouse Bulacan, Santa Rita Exit, the north end of AH-26, N1 portion of NLEX. A few meters after Pulilan Exit is the Candaba Viaduct, officially known as Pulilan Apalit Bridge. The bridge passes on a rice fields that are located within the municipalities of Pulilan, Calumpit and Apalite, and Pampanga River before the viaduct ends. For more information about a route description of the viaduct, see Candaba Viaduct. The expressway continues straight forward, passes through Total and Cultex service areas, San Simon Exit, Abakan and San Fernando Rivers, and San Fernando Exit. The SM City Pampanga and Robinson Starmills Pampanga Malls are seen from the expressway. 
San Fernando Sta. Ines. After San Fernando exit, the expressway narrows into two lanes, both northbound and southbound. It continues as a straight roadway, passing through Pascuan Village, Patron Lakeshore, Mexico Exit, ACLE and Bayabas Overpass, Shell Southbound Service Area, Raslag Solar Power Plant, Abakan and Quitangle Rivers, Angeles Exit, formerly a Parklo Interchange, Marquis Mall, former location of Doe Toll Plaza, Sapang Bago Bridge, Doe and SCTEX Exits, Mawak Road, and it ends at STA. Ines Interchange, with a toll plaza to serve an exit. The segment between SCTEX and STA. Ines exit used to be a two-lane road but has since widened into four lanes. Tabang Spur Road Tabang Spur Road is a spur road which branches out of the main alignment of NLEX at Balagtas and proceeds to MacArthur Highway at Giginto exit. The entire spur is located in Giginto. It starts at an interchange with MacArthur Highway and will pass to Tabang Toll Plaza, where the offices of Tollways Management Corporation are located. It will cross the Giginto River through the Giginto Bridge and pass the river as an overpass. The road continues eastward and another overpass named Tabe 1 Overpass crosses the road. It will turn westward and cross the PNR Railway and Sapang Yugong River through PNR and Sapang Yugong Bridges, respectively. The road turns eastward for the eastbound vehicles and westward for those entering the spur road, where it ends and enters the NLEX main. Mindanao and Karuhatan Link The Mindanao and Karuhatan Link starts with MacArthur Highway on Valenzuela where the link to the future NLEX Segment 10 will be built. It will reach the Karuhatan Toll Plaza and continues eastward until it intersects the NLEX main which is called Smart Connect Interchange. The level of a road will lower past the interchange. It will pass to K Grande, where its overpass is located. It enters Quezon City, with another overpass located on this portion and past that is the Mindanao Avenue Toll Plaza. After the Toll Plaza, it will parallel to Detour Road and ends on Mindanao Avenue. NLEX Segment 10 NLEX Segment 10 starts on a western terminus of Mindanao and Karuhatan Link. It intersects with A. Pablo Street, passes through Linado and Araneta subdivisions, Tullahan River, and Governor Pascual Avenue. The highway enters Calucan, where it will pass Samson Avenue and various establishments within the city. Future Expansion Segment 8.2 The NLEX Segment 8.2 will be a 7.85 km miles segment that will connect NLEX Segment 8.1 to C5 Road and Commonwealth Avenue. The planned segment will at first run parallel to Republic Avenue before making a southward turn to Luzon Avenue after which it will then connect to Commonwealth Avenue. The segment will include two interchanges in Mindanao and Regalado Avenues, a roundabout connection at Congressional Avenue, and three local road crossings at Quirino, Sauya, and Chestnut Avenues. Segment 10.1 NLEX Harbor Link the NLEX Segment 10 is a four-lane, 5.65 kilometers, 3.51 miles, elevated expressway that runs from the NLEX Karuhatan Link to C3 Road. This segment will be open to traffic in December 2018 and the R10 Road section will be completed by December 2019. NLEX Connector there are plans for a construction of an elevated road to connect North Luzon Expressway NLEX, and South Luzon Expressway SLEX. The government has reportedly accepted an unsolicited proposal from Metro Pacific Tollways Development Corporation MPTDC, to build the 13.24 km miles road. MPTDC is a subsidiary of Metro Pacific Tollways Corporation MPTC, which runs NLEX. Known as the Connector Road Project, the elevated expressway will have run over the Philippine National Railway's tracks until terminating to the Skyway Stage 3 interchange. It will be connected in the north to Segment 10, which will soon be constructed through the cities of Caloocan and Valenzuela. In the south, it will be linked to the Skyway near Pup in Sta. 
Mesa. Once completed, the connector road will have four entry and exit points, C3 Road in Caloocan, Espana, Quirino Avenue in Manila and terminating through the Skyway Stage 3 interchange in Sta, Mesa, Manila. This project will be open to traffic on February 2022. Construction of the project is estimated to cost 17 billion pesos, but as an all-elevated structure, right-of-way acquisition shall be reduced to an estimated cost of only 2.41 billion pesos. Construction is anticipated to start when NLEX Karuhatan Link and Segment 10 are complete. NLEX Phase 3 this consists of three segments with an approximate length of 58 km from San Simon, Pampanga to Dinalupihan, Bataan connecting to Segment 7 in Subic Freeport. Technical specifications Name, North Luzon Expressway Concession holder, NLEX Corporation Operator, Tollways Management Corporation Length, 84 km Concession starting date, February 10, 2005 Concession ending date, December 31, 2037 Highway exits, 15 Lanes, 8 lanes, 4 lanes, 6 lanes, 3 lanes, and 4 lanes, 2 lanes Toll plazas, 6 Rest and service areas, 8 Minimum height clearance on underpasses, 4.27 meters, 14 feet. Tolls The tollway has two sections, an open section and a closed section. The open section, within Metro Manila, charges a flat toll based on vehicle class and is employed to reduce the number of toll barriers and associated bottlenecks within the metropolis. The closed section is distance-based, charging based on the class of vehicle and distance traveled. When the expressway was modernized, an electronic toll collection system was set up for Class 1 vehicles while prepaid magnetic cards were assigned to Class 2 and 3 vehicles to speed up transactions at toll booths. These have since been replaced by a unified etc. system operated by EasyTrip. As of October 1, 2011, all tolls, as shown below, include the 12% value-added tax VAT. With the movement of the northernmost toll gate to STA. Ines, the NLEX and SCTEX toll systems have been merged into one combined system, with tolls for all enclosed destinations listed. Features Street lights, Balintawak San Fernando Variable message signs Rumble strips Emergency telephones every 2 km in the Balintawak Baral segment, every 1 km miles in the Baral Sta. Ines segment Runaway truck ramp Rest and service areas privately owned and operated Closed circuit television Guard rails Impact attenuators Solid wall fence Lighting arresters Car density sensors underneath road surface Hidden speed guns Electronic toll payment class 1, prepaid account cards class 2 thirds much of the expressway has been built to U.S. interstate highway standards, featuring eight lanes through Metro Manila. As it enters the more rural area north of Manila, the expressway narrows to six and then four lanes with a grass median to separate the two carriageways. All signage is in English, and are nearly identical to the Big Green Signs BGS on American Expressway, including white lettering on a green background, with the exit tab in the upper right corner. Distance signs even employ a font similar, if not identical, to the Caltrans font. All other signs employ a different font. Like expressways in most American states, the NLEX uses a distance-based sequencing for numbering interchanges. Being a metric country, though, the system is kilometer log rather than mile log. 
exits numbered according to the distance in kilometers from Rizal Park in Manila, which is designated as Kilometer Zero in Luzon. Technical information Lanes The NLEX has eight lanes, four lanes in both directions from the Balintawak to Baral segment, six lanes with three lanes for both directions on the Baral to San Fernando segment and four lanes with two lanes for both directions on the Tabang Spur and San Fernando to Santa Ines segment. Before the lane expansion project of 2016, there was even a part of the NLEX which consists of only two lanes, one for each direction. This segment is located after passing through the Stex exit, northbound, but has since been expanded into four lanes. Speed limit 100 km per hour for cars and jeepneys, 80 km per hour for trucks and buses, and 60 km per hour is the minimum for all classes of vehicles. Speed limits are strictly enforced via CCTV cameras and speed guns, and speeders are usually identified as soon as they hit the toll booth. Major upgrade The upgrade consisted of rebuilding of roads and building new toll plazas. Launched in the beginning of 2003 and completed in February 2005, the roadway now has modern features explained above. Drainage Enhancement Program The entire stretch of the expressway underwent another rehabilitation regarding its drainage systems. The expressway is known to be flooded during the rainy season and the goal of the project is to fix the drainage systems within the road to prevent flooding. Within this period, certain lanes of the road were closed to the traffic. This in turn caused massive traffic jams along the road and the speed limit on the construction sites were reduced from 81 hundredths of a kilometer per hour to 60 kilometers per hour. The program started on 12 February 2007 and finished on 7 October 2007. Shareholder companies Philippine National Construction Corporation Metro Pacific Investments Corporation Leyden Asia Limited Aegis Projects SA of France Services Emergency phones and parking bays Emergency telephone boxes are located throughout the whole length of the expressway. Parking bays lay -bys, are also placed on regular intervals on the expressway, for use in emergency situations. Service areas North Luzon Expressway has seven service areas, mostly located on the closed toll section north of Bacaui. Each service station hosts a gas station, restaurants and a convenience store, as well as ATMs and restrooms, with the exception of Patron in Valenzuela, which only has a Patron gas station, San Mig Food Avenue convenience store, and car repair and lubrication services. Exits Exit numbers are based on kilometer post. Exits begin at 9 because the NLEX is a logical continuation of Andres Bonifacio Avenue. Rizal Park is designated as Kilometer Zero. North Luzon Tollway, NLEX Main Mindanao and Karuhatan Link to Bang Spur Road The entire route is located in Giginto, Bulacan. Future exits All of these exits are still pending construction. In popular culture the expressway was featured in the music video to the song Toll Gate by the band Hail. It was also featured in the movie Saw North Diversion Road in 2005, based on Tony Perez's stage play of the same name. It was created by Dennis Marasigan. From 6 to 17 June 2007, on North Diversion Road, the play written by Tony Perez, was performed at the Arts House, Singapore, by Young and W.L.D., an actor training division of Singapore's W.L.D. Rice Theater. See also North Luzon East Expressway Central Luzon Link Expressway Subic Clark Tarlac Expressway Tarlac Pangasinan La Union Expressway South Luzon Expressway Metro Manila Skyway
References External links Manila North Tollways Corporation NLEX Stex Toll Table Rates